Hi, welcome to Danny on the Go Special Season 2. I'm Danny. In this video, I'm going to give my full review on the Rumah Hotel and Residences in Kuala Lumpur facilities and restaurants. As this is the second part of my review of this place and if you missed the first part of my room and overall hotel review, you can click on the link above to catch up. Review begins in 14 seconds from now. The Rumah Hotel and Residences has four dining places in the building. I begin with the restaurant where most of the guests will go, the Atas, an all-dining restaurant in the hotel. As I am having my breakfast here, I will show you how this place looks like. Located at the mezzanine floor where one can access using the lift or walk up on the beautiful design spiral staircase from the lobby. The restaurant is located on the right-hand side and the staff will stand by at the entrance to usher guests to the table. The restaurant is not big. Seatings are arranged mostly for couples and most I can see are only table for 4 to 5 persons. The overall colors of the place is calm and warm with light brown and yellow colors. Traditional local kitchenware and some old photos are used on the rack on the wall as decoration. Let's look at the food area. Decent buffet-style breakfast is served in this restaurant. The food is arranged in three columns, breads and pastries with lots of choice of jam at the first column. The second column consists of assorted local fruits, cereals, milk, yogurt in various types of flavor, container of dried fruits and nuts, cheese, cold meat, Salad with some choices of dressing. Local food like nasi lemak and roti canai, and also fruit juice. At the third column is the western choice of food. Porridge with different type of toppings and noodle station. A part of that, the eggs are ordered in a la carte style as stated in the menu. Note that some of the egg dishes come in price, where one need to pay extra as stated at the bottom here. Tips for this place. Breakfast starts from 6.30am till 10.30am daily. As the restaurant is not big, it might be crowded where one have to queue at the peak hours, especially during weekend or public holiday. This sign is placed everywhere in the lobby and the entrance of the restaurants to let guests know the best time to enjoy the breakfast. Low traffic is from 6.30 am till 8 am. Medium traffic is from 8 am till 9 am. And heavy traffic will be on 9 am onwards. So turn on your alarm clock if you want to enjoy a peaceful breakfast here. The next dining place is a lounge where one can enjoy a delectable afternoon tea in the hotel called The Library. The name of this lounge is converted from library where one can enjoy privacy and quiet moment in a very homely surrounding. Located at the corner of the lobby, this place is beautifully decorated as though one is in the living room where there are couches with small pillow, rack filled with books, contemporary stand lamp beside the tables, and decorative all over where one can feel so relaxed while having the afternoon tea or evening cocktail here. I like the window where one can view on the busy street outside and that give a very picturesque moment even though it's not my home. Tips for this place. The lounge operates from 10 a.m. till 12 midnight. If you are a guest staying in a suite in this hotel, there is a complimentary afternoon tea and evening cocktail served in this place. The snacks and food are nice but may not be enough to make it as a main meal for lunch or dinner. 
Next to the library is the Seven Bar. The hotel premier bar was located at the far end facing the reception. Here, one can choose from the 77 different jeans sourced from all corners of the earth paired with an assorted of seven tonics. I am not a drinker, but I will not walk past because I was attracted with the design they have in this bar. The golden columns attached to the copper ceiling really makes this place look so elegant. Tips for this place? This bar operates from 10 am till 12 midnight. There is rest code here which is smart casual. But as this place is just adjacent to the lobby, no one will really care about the dress code. Just don't get drunk. One can sit and enjoy the drink comfortably here. And if you don't like the stringent surrounding, you can head to another bar in the hotel. This brings me to introduce the pool bar at level 6, the Santai Pool Bar and Lounge. Santai is a Malay word which means relax. Literally, it's a place to lay back and chill out. It's just located beside the swimming pool where one can sit down in a covered place, enjoy the outdoor air and have some drink with friends. Very relaxing where one can choose to sit at the bar tables or just lay down at the side couches. Here, there is no dress code as long as you are not naked. Since I'm at level 6, I might as well continue with the facilities they have in the hotel as all are located at the same floor here. As soon as one comes out from the lift, the right side is where the spa called UR Spa and the bubble by True Fit and the Hill are. Secluded at the far end, where one can enjoy the most tranquil moment while in the spa or have a good hairstyling done by a professional hairstylist. On the left side, from the lift are the fitness area. There is a so-called infinity swimming pool here. This swimming pool is 25 meters long. Besides, there is a wading pool for kids and both the swimming pool is surrounded with greeneries where one can be so tempted to get a dip in this swimming pool as it is so hot outside. Tips for this place. The swimming pool is open from 8 am till 9 pm. It will be closed if it rains for safety reasons. On the deck of the swimming pool are some chase lounges and these beautiful bird catch sun lounger for one to sit back and relax. More couches are at the end which connected to the Santai Pool Bar. Meanwhile, on the other side is the open air area where one can enjoy a sun bath with many sun lounges around here. Behind this area is the gym. One can only access using the room card key. It is a small gym, but equipments are pretty well equipped. One can work out here as there are enough machines to play around. What I mean enough is just enough. It's clean by the way. There is a changing room beside the gym. Upon entering is a small but clean toilet and basin area. By the way, I'm just showing the men changing room area. I'm not sure the women changing room area is the same or not. There is another door in the toilet that leads to the shower and locker room. I'm not sure why they need a door here as one may not notice there is this area. Here, there is a basin and the lockers are all at the side.
There are two shower cubicles with shower amenities provided inside. Tips for this place. The gym is open 24 hours daily to hotel guests. Towels are available and the place is clean and bright, but there's no sauna nor steam bath. Hi. Um, in this part, I will start to talk about some of the pros and cons that I have uh, in this hotel. Now, let's talk about the pros, the good part of it. Um, in this hotel, I will say, I will summarize it as like, design meets practicality. It's very hard to find a hotel to have design where it is very, very little touch. It's actually very impressive. And it meets with practicality, meaning that it is usable, which is people come here and they stay in comfort. Uh, most of the hotels outside, they are, they are following other hotels, what they do, like they have marbles, they have lighting, all these things. But in this hotel, they have the uniqueness behind it. When you come to this hotel, you'll find things like, first thing you come here, you'll find that the, the, the color combination is very warm and it's not very bright I would say but the thing is just give a sense of home when you come inside here which is uh, what they want the concept it to be the art itself you can find it in so many places the leaf area you can find cabinets you can find sculptures and even the toilet in my room you have two sculptures at there and if you really like arts you will really appreciate it and to me, i really impressed because they really put little little efforts into a little little corner where sometimes you just sit down and you will just realize, oh like this lamp, like this port here, it is very very meaningful. The designer really did a thinking. For example, they, they combine a lot of things into one room, like um, they have this uh, wind squatting wall behind me, which is a uh, it's more on the western side, you know. And the Venetian lines here. Venetian lines are, if you look in the history, it's actually brought from Venice, those Venetian into France. So it's like more like a European style in this part. And as um, they have shoji panels on the other side there, where you can see it's like very Japanese. And also at the bed side there, you have this uh, woven mat which is more on the tropical design so that like, they combine everything together and it doesn't feel like a wet market you can feel like everything is together and it feels so rough like that but they do it in a very chic way a very exclusive way that makes people feel like oh this is a well-designed place here which is impressive another part that I really like is the wood flooring uh, nowadays a uh, hotel starts to imply on wood flooring instead of carpeted. I like wood flooring because carpeted flooring, uh, maybe I'm a clean freak. I really don't like carpet flooring because I worry they have dust mine, they have stains, that they, they, the housekeeping don't really actually do well on cleaning those things. When it is wood flooring, it's easy to wipe, clean or sweep or vacuum. So walking into a wood flooring really makes me feel safe and also it, also it also feels like home. One more thing is the fixture. All the fixture furnitures, they are all custom made. Like the basin. The basin, oh, it's beautiful. I never see this basin in the hotel before. This basin is beautiful. And the mirror actually you can turn the light according to uh, the, the brightness you want. The uh, fixture or the, uh, beside the bathtub, uh, those are also custom made and the color is very beautiful. It's dark brown and you know, it really stands out behind those pastel colors. It makes the whole environment very good, very beautiful. Okay, I am starting to think about the, the cons, the not so good side of the hotel. Now, they are quite many places that I don't really like but most of them are personal preference which I don't really like for example the entrance uh, the entrance of the hotel is a little bit too small and not grand enough 
as a five star hotel, even if it's a five star boutique hotel, it shouldn't be like a back door to me. To me, it's like so small, and then you have to like turn all the way sliding in into. Although it's a bird cage, that is very nice, but you can have another way of showing it. Uh, I just don't like the entrance of it. And also, secondly, coming into the lobby itself, I will think of the lobby brightness is very dim. Uh, they have lack of natural light. Uh, maybe they just want to bring it like as home. Uh, I don't know. To me, home has to be bright. Probably the designer's home is dark. <laughs> so, uh, the, the whole entire copper feel, uh, brownish, orange, yellowish, those are very warm color to me. And as a designer, um, those colors are very good in terms of bringing the warm feelings to the guests. But I personally don't really like warm colors because mm, maybe I am a very hot tempered kind of person. I'm a very impatient kind of person. When looking colors like this, the brightness, the, the, the yellowish, uh, the brownish, the golden colors, it really actually triggers the anger inside me. So I don't like these colors. This is my own preference. I don't like the color combination. But uh, to me, the, color, the, the brightness in the lobby is really very dim, very dark. It's just not bright enough. Looking at the facilities, um, the hotel is not big. So, but they have here and there, a little bit here and there facilities, which is okay to me because some hotels even have worse. <laughs> even they are five stars. So the swimming pool, talking about the swimming pool, um, when, they talk, when they say the swimming pool is an infinity pool, uh, it's quite disappointed because to me, infinity pool is a pool that has a very infinity view when looking at it. And to me, when I look at it, it does have the infinity, but the infinity is blocked by all the buildings in front. So I don't see there as a point of putting it as an infinity pool, even though it is an infinity, infinity pool. And worse still, this infinity pool is actually blocked by glasses. I know it's for safety's sake, but there are a lot of ways of putting it. Maybe we can put hedges, uh, plants or whatever that actually uh, portray it as a safe, safety net or safety area. Instead of putting glass, uh, putting glass is like, it's no more infinity pool to me. So to me, that is a minus point uh, of the facility part. Okay, the hotel was opened in 2018, so it's not really old and it's not new either. But uh, in terms of now 2024 when I come here to stay, I can see a lot of wear and tears and it's not very clean. It's not very clean. So like uh, the the, the, the chair in the in the room, I can see the rattan is actually worn out. And um, <laughs> there was one part where I was like sitting uh, on a toilet bowl and doing my big business. And suddenly I look at the floor, oh my gosh, there are a lot of stains on the floor. And I start thinking, oh, what happened? There are a lot of, is it stain or mold or what on the floor? So it's like they should have cleaned it properly, even if it's in the toilet itself. So, uh, so that's a very no-no to me. Um, another part is um, the selling point of this hotel probably is the design of home instead of the view. So most of the part, they are using all this Venetian blind and the blind itself. Even in the, um, the breakfast area um, where I was having a breakfast, they're having all the blinds at the side of the window. So it's just like hiding people to see the view outside. Uh, instead of giving a home impression. Of course, it did give a home impression at first, but when I started to want to look outside, how it does it look like? Uh, it doesn't really give me any view at all because it's like blocked by these blinds. And even, <laughs> even the parking bay lobby, the parking bay lift itself has blind. Ah, the blind sells a lot here actually. Okay, um, when they have all those good artistic stuff in the room and uh, I would say that they will have a lot of problems when it comes to cleanliness so they have this shoji blind which I started to look at it it's very beautiful when I start look at it oh so uh, after a while when I start to think of it is it really clean so as I look into it very closely it has a lot of dust on it um, like the this Venetian blind 
uh, all the slats here is very difficult to clean actually and the fan now the fan on top of me actually um, if you are staying at home you will notice these things like the shoji, shoji panels the blind the fan these are these things are very easy to accumulate dust and housekeeping do they actually do it very properly do they actually clean these things properly i doubt when i look at it no there are a lot of dust there so when it comes to cleanliness mm -mm, no no it's a no no <laughs> yeah it's a no no to me i'm so sorry to say that but uh you know, as a guest, you don't stay here forever. So probably maybe a few nights, okay, fine. You just come and go kind of things. But uh, if you really want to look for a, a really clean hotel, uh, maybe this is not a very good hotel to choose for. Okay, so after all those pros and cons of my own personal review, you should know how is my rating. Here is my rating and it should, it's not that bad actually but uh, it's not either very good so yeah it really depends on you if you really want to come to this hotel to stay maybe you can actually think about it what is your purpose of staying hotel is it a cleanliness comfort or is it of the design comfort or is it comfort comfort or is it the price comfort so yeah it's, just, it's really up to you and um, please do subscribe my channel if you like my videos so that uh, it really means a lot to me because it really helps me to push my channel into monetization level which really helps a lot um, until then I will actually hope to see you in on my next video and till then bye